Hello and welcome to Question Time from Channels Television and Benga Ashiru. As the campaign for a digital shift in the telecommunication sector continues to sweep the entire globe, how prepared is Nigeria in this race to catch up with the digital revolution? With consumers in the telecom sector still groaning under poor network service, cyber insecurity, and unsolicited text messages, is there a solution in sight? You can join in this conversation, send us your comments on our social media platforms. In a bid to take its place in the League of Digital Economies in the world, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, is determined to open up the satellite market in the country. With over 22% of broadband penetration, can the NCC beat the 30% target before the December 2018 deadline? In order to put things into proper perspective, we had a chat with the NCC boss, Professor Umar Gaba Dambata. Join us in this interview. When we came on board in August, you know, um, 2015, remember we articulated a strategic vision plan for the, for the sector. As I'm talking to you, we're busy implementing that plan, a plan consisting of eight items, facilitating broadband penetration, improving quality of service, optimizing the usage and benefits of spectrum, uh, protecting and empowering the consumer, promoting ICT innovation and investment opportunities, ensuring competition and inclusive growth, and finally, the eighth item revolves around promoting regulatory excellence and operational efficiency. Those are the items of our eight-point agenda, which we're using to drive development you know, in the sector. Now, there's still the challenge of opening up the satellite market, but we just 22% broadband penetration. So how well do you think we are? All hands are on deck to ensure we attain the penetration of 30%. In spite of the infrastructural deficits? Well, we do, we do have... percent penetration is still feasible this year? <laughs> well, we are at 22%, um, which is 70% of, you know, our target. Okay, 100% would be 30%, isn't it? Now, but 22% is like 70% of that 30. If it were an examination, we would be given an A+. Plus you know, for this uh, particular performance, you know, we have uh, attained. Now, whether we can hit the 30%, um, I will hesitate to say a definitive yes, but Nigerians should remember where the penetration was when, you know, we talk over the face of, uh, of, of, you know, the face of the Nigerian Communications Commission in 2015. It was 5%. It has more than doubled now. It's at 22%. And this figure, you know, was provided by the Broadband ITU, um, UNESCO Broadband Commission for uh, sustainable development, you know, across the globe. 22% meaning about 50 million Nigerians have access to broadband services. It's, it's a target set out in the National Broadband Plan. And the commission was assigned the mandate of driving deployment of infrastructure. There are many entities that are supposed to work together to ensure the attainment of this target. The Commission has virtually done what it is required to do towards ensuring attainment of, of the target. As I'm talking to you, there is a presidential committee, uh, committee advisory council, sorry, on improving competitiveness in the economy through the deployment of more fiber network. This committee or, or advisory committee, that's right, intends to deploy 18,000 kilometers of fiber, you know, in addition to the almost 38,000 kilometers we have in the country. And this committee, as I'm talking to you, is working towards ensuring this additional fiber, you know, is, is deployed. How much is the installation of the fiber? Well, we have 38,000 kilometers of fiber in this country, as I'm talking to you. This Presidential Advisory Council intends to add 18,000 kilometers of fiber to what we have on the ground, and that will bring the total to 46,000 kilometers of fiber. This country needs 120 kilometers of fiber to be able to 
attain and go beyond the target of 30% penetration. We are all working. The advisory council is working jointly with the NCC. The NCC is also working. We have completed our important assignment of assigning the licenses to infrastructure companies. We believe the subsidy agreement attached, you know, to the licensing, you know, uh, condition, you know, you, you know, is, is soon going to be concluded. And uh, I may not say 100% that we can attain 30% by the end of the year, but we should wait and see and be judged by what progress you know, we shall be making towards you know, reaching that target. The Nigerian um, presidential, if you like, presidential advisory council that will improve competitiveness in the sector intends to add 18,000 kilometers of fiber to the existing you know, fiber network in the country. I don't know the cost, but I know four of our licenses will be involved. What do we have, you know, on the ground is 38,000 kilometers of fiber. If you add the 18, that will give you 56 kilometers of fiber. And that will be enough to drive the penetration beyond 30%. As I'm talking to you, the NCC is working and this presidential advisory committee under the you know presidency is also working jointly well, with the NCC. There are that uh, the, the, the funding gap uh, could, could just be a snag in the wheel of this uh, progress. Well, when the entities applied for improper licenses, I'm talking about the entities we have um, you know given licenses to to deploy fiber. I believe they must have known before even applying that there will be need you know for for capital investment, you know, in this important project. And in order to lessen the burden on the licensees, there is a subsidy agreement, meaning they're not going to do this alone. The NCC will be involved in giving them subsidy consistent with attainment of milestones in the deployment project 